Ray, it's lovely to, to spend some time with you here at Churston Golf Club, uh, a place you know well, you're president here, and uh, a nice That's relaxing right. place to be as well. I've been down here now since 72, actually, yes. I came down doing the holiday circuit for, for one of the camps, you know, yeah, which was a nice way of life in those days. There's no hard to get a business doing exhibitions anywhere, so if you could get on the holiday circuit, it sort of uh, give you security for the year. Give, you make enough money to to live on, cover all expenses, travelling, rail, ta taxis, and what have you, petrol, and of course uh, anything else. Then is a bonus, but they give you that little bit of security. That's all. Sure. Difficult, difficult. Nine hundred and forty-six miles a week. Ten shows. Wow. I'm sure a lot of people watching would love to know, do you still play snooker? Do you still Very badly, yes. Very badly. I think they moved the pockets, actually. <laughs> or that, or the balls got bigger. <laughs> the pockets got smaller. <laughs> but you still enjoy playing? I still enjoy playing, yeah. At least with all the members, I can always help them a little bit if they need it. What was it about? And there's no charge. I never charge anybody, by the way. Oh, good. I've never charged anybody. How was that? What, what is it about snooker that still fascinates you, do you think? It's just the nature of the game, the unreliable, the uncertainty of it. Some days you can do most things, other days you can't do anything. And there's no rhyme or reason for it, no, it's just whether you feel in the mood for it or... I don't know what it is, actually, it's, it's simple. I mean, it didn't happen very often, it just happens, and when it happens, you're in a little world of your own, you can pot anything, you can pot everything, you can get out of everything, you're not aware of anything, nothing distracts you, you just get on doing your job. Mm. Fantastic, magic. Well, you were in overdrive for, for most of the 70s, obviously you won six world titles. I mean, what was that feeling like to be the, yes, the number one player in the world? Was, uh, number one for seven years, how about that? That's something, isn't it, really? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you can only do the best of your day, you know. You can't, I mean, you can't compare it with modern times because they're much younger now. Uh, conditions seem to be much better than what I had, or what we had, rather. Yeah, tables are nice and warm, balls are nice and light, cloths are a bit thinner. Wonderful, wonderful. Nice. I love to be able to play on these conditions. Tables so fast, you know. And you see them screw the ball effortlessly. Long distances, from long distances. Fascinating. You hold a record, in 1983 you won a ranking event when you were 50, you're the oldest ranking event winner. Now Ronnie O'Sullivan, he's gonna be 48 in December. Do you think he might be the one who, who takes that record from you? I, I can't see any reason why not. Yes, I would say yes. Fantastic. And I wish him well because I'm on his side in any case. It'd be wonderful. Good for him. What a wonderful player, eh? Most natural player you'll ever see. I was amazed when I went with him, I can assure you. Uh, I, I mean, I'd seen him play and, and, and I'd, I'd heard about him and read about him. But to stand at the side of him when he's doing his practice session is unbelievable. It is wonderful. It is magic. And I used to call him the magician, but he wouldn't have that. He wanted to be the rocket. I see Murphy's got the magician now. He, but uh, no, the magician is Ronnie's the magician, not Murphy. Is Ronnie the, the greatest ever, do you think? Ever, without a doubt. And I think most of the players would agree. I can't think of anybody who wouldn't agree, really, no. Because, well, he is, and he's so natural. So effortless, really. Well, you'd have to see him practice and to realise how good he is. It's one of these game snookers that you have a, an audience going along and they, they're fairly eldish audience in most of them at the Crucible. I'm sure they don't understand what they're saying. And they don't realise how good this, this person is, really. They see a ball go from A to B or the white ball. There's only one ball on the table, it's the white ball. And they see this white ball go here, there, everywhere, and finish up on the ball in his next ball. And it's effortless, it's, it's wonderful. But you can't understand the skill that's involved in making that happen. You play snooker? Not as well as you. <laughs> well, you'll have to come and have a, talk, have a look. Look at me, it, won't you? It'd really? Be a, it'd be a Don't, I won't charge you anything. You're all right. I do it for nothing. Well, we have a new world champion now, Luca Purcell from Belgium. Um, yeah, that's he, interesting. He represents hey, a that new, was a new generation, a new sort of fearless. That approach. was fantastic. Yeah. You're a fan of his? That, well, that was amazing. 
I don't think I've ever seen any player similar to that, really. We, we, you can't even compare your, your famous Higginses and what have you, or your, or your Davises, or, or your uh, the two Higginses, the John Higgins and Alex Higgins. Yeah. And, and you've got Selby, all, you've got, and Murphy, you've got a host of players, really. Um, Mark Williams now, look how dangerous he is. Well, he's got a second lead in life, hasn't he? He's coming back. Mark, he came down here and we marked it, I had to give him a golf, you know. What a good golfer he played. He birdied 17, 18, he birdied 15, 16, 17 and 18 when he came here. Unbelievable, never played the course before. But he's got a new lease of life on the snooker table. How nice to see a natural at his best, you know. Paul Ray, it's been lovely to spend time with you here. And Fantastic. I'm sure that all the snooker fans watching this would just like... For me David, to, it's been a pleasure. Well, they'd just like for me to say thank you for the, the vast contribution you made. Not at all. And good luck with your book, by the way. Fantastic. I look forward to the, on the look read of it, you know, yeah. In a pleasure, right? Thank you. Well, excellent. Thank you. You may send me one, perhaps, with a bit of luck. We never know. A discount. You, you're never looking. <laughs> just think about it, anyhow. You know? I will do. Thank you, Ray. <laughs>